What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we got some um, snipe filters for you guys. Low key, it's not really top five. It's a little more than top five. I'm pretty much just gonna show you some snipe filters that have been pretty money. And uh, man, guys, the support has been absolutely unbelievable. Let's keep it going, bro. We're gonna hit 4K within the next two weeks. A week, bro. Gained another 60 subs yesterday. You guys are on a roll. Keep dropping that sub. Let's like that video. 100 likes in the video for 20k MT to a random subs. Gave away some 20k MT yesterday on Twitter. So make sure to go follow my Twitter, man. I am on Xbox, so sorry PS4. But sometimes we do give away $10 PSN codes for PS4 members. So make sure to join the clan. Make sure to join the squad, bro. We are grinding, bro. We are grinding so hard. We're going to get Opal Roy soon. Grinding for Pink Diamond Lynn. He's about to be a Diamond 93. I do work every day, so or in five, six days a week. So it is hard for me to grind. I am a little behind. I do got that MT though. So let's get into this method. So let's talk about some snipe filters. So I'm gonna start out with this one because this one made me the most MT forever. So it's the diamond filter enabled. And why do I say enabled? Because you want to get rid of the Earl Monroe's, the Jamal Wilkes, and the Jerry West in your collection. You gotta buy Jerry West, Jamal Wilkes, Tony Allen, and Austin Carr. And Jamal Wilkes, if I didn't say that, Jerry West, if I didn't say that. So five cards you need to get, and Earl Monroe, if I didn't say that, I don't know. But you need to get rid of those five cards, put them in your collection. You need about 50K to do this, and you just simply scroll through this filter to three hours and 59 minutes. This filter is straight money. I have probably made a million MT off this filter, no joke. I've made thousands and thousands of MT. It's been running forever. And honestly, if it gets kind of dry, I like to scroll through by position. Um, since there is a ton of cards, since the market has crashed, position-wise has been a lot better. So I've been sniping a lot of power forwards, a lot of centers as of late. I haven't really seen any small forwards. But yeah, right now, man, market's kind of slow. Today is Sunday. Snipes are going to be dry. But this is definitely one of the top snipe filters in the game. Um, next snipe filter we got. All right, so this one, this one's big money. You guys need at least 100 KMT to do this. So let's go over it. Spotlight J Lynn, uh, Pink Diamond, 100,000 MT. Gotta go over here, right here, 100,000 MT. You gotta spam this. Now, this one is gonna be very time consuming. If you do get a snipe, you're a millionaire. If you don't, it's not the end of the world. But the only problem with this filter is it's gonna take up your whole day if you really wanna get one, unless you just get extremely lucky. If you want, you could stay over here and honestly, like, I don't know, man. It's a, it's up to you. If you want to stay here all day, you could possibly get one. If you do get one, man, you're lit. Not only that, you can do the Jeremy Lin Spotlight, get that Marbury on the squad. Right now, also, thinking about getting rid of my wall, getting Marbury and Pink Diamond Lin, but I'm not totally sure. I don't know if I do want to do that. I really do like Wall Frazier, so we might have to keep all of them in. Plus, I just sold my Ben Simmons, unfortunately. Sold him for 110 when he's going for 140. I hate people in this game. Like, bid on my Ben Simmons, bro. It's so annoying. But yeah, this is one filter that's really money, really good for people who have a lot of MT. And as you can see, man, it's freaking hard. It's just so hard. I'm going to show you how much they're actually going for on Xbox. If you guys are wondering, so Kawhi is actually somewhat cheap. Melo actually dropped a lot. So you're going to see these cards continuously drop. Okay. They always drop. That's why when you, when people ask me if I should sell them or whatever, you always should sell no matter what happens. You must sell these cards right when you get them once they drop. If you pull one when they drop, you got to sell ASAP because they never go up. They only go down. So that's one method you guys. Hopefully, you do take advantage. Next, Diamond Spotlight Jeremy Lin. Um, this filter is good for the fact that you could just get Pat Bevs for cheap and stock up and sell tonight or whatever. Um, that's why I like it. But you could also get some Marcus Saul. So this filter is high key, high key cash. Not only that, to do the dive filter, you're going to need a Pat Bev. So, Pat Bev with the Hall of Fame clamps and the decent offense. He's going to be a, a really good player for a bunch of ballers. So, pretty good card to stock up on, I would say. He should go up. But then again, so many people are pulling these packs trying to get the Pink Diamond, Kawhi, and Mello. So, I'm not totally sure. But this filter could be money if you do get a Gasol. Um, but right there, 6500 for a Pat Bev is a pretty good price. Um, other filter, man. This filter is low-key money if you only have like 10k 
Um, it's literally 2k amethyst. There's gonna be a little more to top five snipe filters. A little bit more. Might do like six or seven, but amethyst, bro. This filter is good for stocking up on cards. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, it's pretty much you just pick up a ton of cards at this price and invest in them and wait a couple days and then just sell. Pretty much on my queue. Uh, I pretty much just do this all the time. That's how I make a lot of my MT. But yeah, right now, market is so slow. That's the only problem. Today's a good day to stack up. All If you stacked up and listen to me, today's a really good day to sell your investments. Uh, market's really high. Really, really high. So... Yeah, but yeah, as you can see, man, if you see the amethyst filter this slow with 3 hours 16, 3 hours 40, and 7 hours 48, bro, you know there's something up, you know the market's dead. So if you guys got the Sabonises, make sure to sell today. Um, Everything's up a ton, a ton, ton. If Joakim knows going for 3 plus, you know it's up. He's been 2,000 for like weeks. Um, So yeah, this filter's pretty good on a day, like, I don't know. But yeah, right now it's really slow. So, let's get into the next filter. Amethyst NBA 20 has been one of the most money filters as well for me over the damn year, bro. It's been so good. 5,800, bro. I think that's a pretty good price. I don't know, actually. 5,800, 6K. This filter was a little bit ruined, but it's still money. If you get any Giannis's, Curry's, LeBron's, you make MT or Durant's. Um, so, yeah. Try this filter. It's very active. Amethyst NBA 20. Just set your price to this. You want to look for Kevin Durant, you want to look for Curry, you want to look for Giannis, you want to look for LeBron, why? Because they go for the most. Also, you can get Kawhi for like 4-ish K, Paul George for 6K. Dude, I, I just hate Sunday, bro. It's the worst day to work the market. It's so damn slow. Like, it's so slow, it makes me not want to play this game anymore. So, yeah, that's that's something I don't really like. This, this is very, very slow. So, but yeah, this filter... Pretty money. I would say the most consistent filter is either this one or the diamond filter. So if you do want to work it, it's really good. This filter on like a moment's day is so fire. It's probably the best filter in the game on a moment's day or any market crash. Any amethyst filter on a market crash is straight heat. So I would recommend you guys try this filter out. I just can't stand how Sundays, man. If you're if you're playing, if you're trying to snipe on a Sunday, don't waste your time. Literally, go grind your, your spotlights. Go grind your triple threat. Don't sit here for hours on a Sunday trying to snipe. It's just not good. I usually snipe on market crash days. Today's just a not good day to snipe. So next filter, um, you got this. This is the basic filters, man. This is for people with low baller MT that's really just trying to make quick MC. Like right here, how did I not get that? That was fast. So 800 crab missed that. He goes for like 1300. So this filter, man, it's pretty money. I'm not gonna lie. It's quick. It's easy. You just want to look for cards. That are like on the Kings or something. Uh, cards on the Kings. Cards on, I don't know. Like teams without an Amethyst as their top player. This filter, man, is money. It used to be money. It low-key got ruined. But the way I notice, it doesn't get ruined if you press enable. Because most of my collection is completed. So if I press enable and I get a card for under like 3k, it's straight money. But of course, it doesn't pop up like that. So that's my one problem I have. Um, but yeah, right now... It's looking like this filter is ruined, but it could be people for people that don't have their collection done. This filter is key for you because you could get a ton of silvers for the low. Like to complete your collections to get Zach Hans and Christian Wood for 1250 is a snag. They're probably 1600 last week. So silvers are down. If you do want to stock up on some silvers, you could. Wouldn't really recommend it though. I mean, you could. It's just so risky. 2K's been dropping heat as of late. When they drop heat, man, everything crashes. So not totally sure but yeah next filter was also money low key nah this one's still pretty money he checks low key still have a lot of value it's just their base price dropped to like 16 something so i don't have this card so i'm gonna pick him up um i don't have marcus morris i'll pick him up and i'll pick up eric gordon forget it so right there you can probably sell him for 2k make a quick like 200 mt um but yeah now nah, this filter's pretty solid i would say just trying to get some more cards in my collection. Trying to get closer to that Antoine Jameson. But this dude, this this filter is a little fast paced. A lot of it's actually low key competitive as hell too. So if you guys really want to compete, you gotta be quick with it. Um, you kind of just want to pick up any card you see for like sixteen hundred. Pretty much any card that get that gets posted for sixteen hundred, scoop and sell right away. You'll pretty much make quick MC. But yeah, like I said, all these filters are good. 
one of the best night filters in the game, bro. It's diamond filter. It's so good. Think about how many diamonds are in the game. Think about the price value uh, of it. So if you guys don't know, diamond enabled. Simply, bro. Best night filter in the game, hands down. For me, at least. This is on Xbox. I noticed a lot of snipes in Xbox are a lot harder than PS4. And I'm not even kidding. Look it up. I, it's literally factual. So, anyways, though, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more content. Like the video if you're new. Hope you guys have a good one. Peace.